Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In today's video, we'll be looking at the brand new user interface for Google Meet. Now this new user interface brings a couple of new features that are really going to impact how you are using Google Meet. So let's start by creating an instant meet. Now I'm going to click on new meeting and then I'm going to select instant meeting. Now this is going to open up the brand new interface for Google Meet. And as you can see, I immediately have a different color scheme. So everything is in a darker color and most of my buttons have moved to the bottom of my screen. Now the buttons you see down there are the familiar buttons. So we have our mute button. We have a button to turn off or on our camera and we can turn on our captions. Now if you wanna find out more about captions, there is another video on our channel. We also have a button to raise our hand and share our screen. And this is where there will be some differences as to how this is presented during a Google Meet. We can also click on the more options to open up all the additional options such as our whiteboard, recording, changing layout and jumping into full screen. Now when we click on settings, we end up in our full settings menu. So here we can change our audio, the video we're using and we have access to our host controls. Now the host controls are also accessible from right within your meeting. So when you look here on the right hand side, we have those host controls. And when you click on that, you jump into the host controls and you can also click on view all host settings. And then that brings you to the settings again. We also have our activities. Now these used to be at the top, now they're at the bottom. So here you can see, we can see all the attendees. We can see our chat, turn this off or on at the top and we can open up the activities. This includes our breakout rooms, polls, Q&A, recording, and whiteboarding. Now do note that many of these features are part of the plus offering or the teaching and learning upgrade for Workspace. And so in order to get these, you'll have to upgrade to that plus or teaching and learning upgrade package. And you can find out more about that in the description below. Now let's have a look at sharing our screen and what's different. Now here, when we have a screen share, we can still select what we want to share. So let's go ahead and share a tab and let's share the Apps Events website. We are now sharing this website and here previously we've always seen it as such that we see the presenting screen and ourselves. Now since the updated user interface, what we can do is we can unpin this screen. So here when I click on this button, I can unpin this and it becomes one of the attendees. So we no longer have that big screen taking up all the real estate. Now, as more people join this meeting, you will no longer see this screen full size. So let's go ahead and invite a couple of people in. And here we go. So as you can see, I've invited three other people to join this meeting and the presented screen is the same size as everyone else. Now I can always pin this to again get that large view, but we don't need to leave it up there anymore. We can simply unpin it and see all our students all in one screen. We also at the top have the presentation audio. This can be turned off or on. So we can mute that tab and then turn it on whenever we need it. We also have a shortcut to stop presenting in the top right corner. So let's go ahead and click on that. In addition to this, we can make our own video feed much smaller. So here you will see when I hover over this, I can remove this tile. And when I remove that tile, I'm simply moved to the bottom corner and I no longer distract that view of all my students. I can also choose to completely minimize my feed. So here, when I click on minimize, now you only see me in the bottom right corner. I'm still sending my video feed, I'm still sending my audio feed, but I no longer have my own screen, my own video feed take up the entire screen. Now you can always simply click on that button again to expand it and then add yourself to the tiles. So this is the brand new interface for Google Meet. Now it's rolling out to domains around the world. Some users will get it before others, but eventually everyone will be on the new user interface. This was another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.